you for tuning in to part two of the What's New in ArcGIS Enterprise 1061 series. Today we'll be talking a little bit about new features in sharing and collaboration, a brand new feature called ArcGIS Enterprise Sites, as well as some performance enhancements and new functionality that we have exposed for administrators. So to learn more, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Brand new to 1061 is ArcGIS Enterprise Sites, an exciting feature which allows you to create a tailored web page to share your GIS data with others. Sites provides a friendly and informational front end for your data that builds off of content already in your ArcGIS Enterprise portal. Each site and page can begin with a template that you can choose to customize as much or as little as you would like. Updates are dynamic, allowing you to see changes as they are applied from customizing the text of the header to the background image, all the way down to the default text shown in the search bar. You can create as many sites and pages as you would like for users to approach and use your data through customized friendly interfaces that can really tell the story of your data. Sites is approachable for users with and without experience in web development. For those less familiar with web development, Sites provides a drag and drop experience to customize your sites and pages. For those who are savvy with web development, you can deeply customize using HTML and CSS. That way, anyone with the right privileges can jump in and start creating. Once my site is created, I can share the URL with others, and they can access both the web page and the data through this new approachable interface. When adding data to your site, make sure that the right sharing settings are applied for others to access, as Sites uses your enterprise security model to secure your data. Sites is a great way to share your data to a larger audience by using the content that is part of your GIS. And we're excited to announce that Sites is available out of the box with ArcGIS Enterprise 1061. Next up is performance enhancements for map and feature services. In cases with large data sets or rapid rendering needs, these services are now noticeably faster to draw on a map when served out from ArcGIS Enterprise 1061 and consumed in modern clients like ArcGIS Pro 2.2 and the Enterprise Portal Zone Map Viewer. This performance enhancement also applies within apps built with the JavaScript API 4.5 or, or higher that are designed to take advantage of this new enhancement. Here we can see how a feature layer of county level boundaries, approximately 30 megabytes in size, draws on a map. We'll record the network activity zooming out to the full extent. All of the features have drawn using 138 requests, 506 kilobytes of data transferred over the network, and about seven seconds. Now, using a feature layer in an environment without these new optimizations, you can see for all features to draw on a map, a larger amount of data has to be transferred over the network and it takes additional time. With this new enhancement, developers will notice how this results in significantly smaller amount of data being transferred, and analysts will notice how larger data sets draw much quicker on a map and when panning and zooming. New for administrators is an option to see the status of all asynchronous jobs for a geoprocessing service. The service could be caching, publishing, or even running geoanalytics tools. This option is available within REST, where administrators can query based on different parameters, including the status of the job. Here you can see we have queried based on status, and the result returns eight jobs that have varying statuses, from submitted to executing to succeeded. This new option for administrators gives more fine-grained understanding of the status of jobs, both for their own insight and to help communicate status back to members of their organization. Next up are capabilities for vector tiles. Vector tiles are performant layers that store the vector representation of their data. If you have been looking for the ability to replace an existing vector tile layer, 1061 has the trick. You will see a new function to replace vector tiles on the item in the enterprise portal. This replaces the data while retaining the original item ID and URL. When you replace a tile layer, make sure the projection, tiling scheme, and layer names are the same in both the existing and replacement layers. A second improvement to vector tiles is that hosted vector tile layers can now be enabled for offline use, meaning that you can use this layer in offline maps. Updated versions of Living Atlas vector tiles are now also available in 10.6.1, as well as new tile layers such as Nova, 
newspaper, modern antique, and mid-century. And this wouldn't be a What's New video without reviewing new enhancements for distributed collaboration. Collaboration was introduced at ArcGIS Enterprise 10.5 and facilitates the sharing of data and information between ArcGIS Enterprise portals or with ArcGIS Online. With 10.6.1, collaboration introduces the ability to share applications and the ability to synchronize your data on demand across workspaces. What does this mean for you? Applications you have built off of Web App Builder or using configurable app templates can now be shared with other ArcGIS Enterprise 10.6.1 portals or to ArcGIS Online. You can replicate the framework for your app for use in another deployment. It also means that you can now synchronize your items outside of regularly scheduled intervals. For example, if my data automatically synchronizes with other participants every day at 5 o'clock, but a major edit has been made today, I can choose Sync Workspace to send that data to other recipients on demand. If you are looking for a way to easily share layers and maps between ArcGIS Enterprise and to ArcGIS Online, consider setting up a collaboration to take care of the heavy lifting for you. Thanks for watching part two of this series. If you haven't already checked out part one, we definitely recommend going in and watching that video as well for five other new features. For more information, head to our website at esri.com forward slash enterprise. And we look forward to hearing about how you are implementing ArcGIS Enterprise 10.6.1 here soon. Thanks.